Zay Jones is the magician, but the Buffalo Bills rookie wide receiver has left the internet befuddled over the optical illusion he performed during Sunday's win over the Kansas City Chiefs. The 6FT2 E Street Carolina product called make a reception while diving for quarterback Tyra Taylor's attempted touchdown pass in the second quarter. Instead Jones, who was sliding out of bounds on his chest, managed to hold his momentum, reverse his kinetic energy, and rise to his feet in a way that seemed to defy gravity. Zay Jones floats back to his feet pick twitter.com slash ux4p9jaaqc. Zay Jones, no 11, fails to haul in the Tyra Taylor pass on Sunday, but he did appear to levitate to his feet after diving for what would have been a touchdown reception. So how did he do it? The Buffalo Bills are in no rush to reveal the secrets of their strength and conditioning program, but the strength coach who helped Jones develop into a second-round draft pick offered some clues. The first thing that occurred to me, his core strength, said East Carolina strength and conditioning coach Jeff Connors, who trained both Jones and his father, Robert, a former NFL linebacker at the university. Zay is very athletic, but at the same time, you have to have pretty good core strength to do something like that, Connors added. I think he always had fast twitch qualities as an athlete. A lot of that is hereditary anyway. He had some good genetic tools to bring with him but he was very big as far as his body weight was concerned. A veteran of 30 years in the field who also penned a book, Strength Coach, A Call to Serve, Connors admits that Jonas' levitation is a bit of a mystery, even to him. His overall qualities and total body strength probably contributed to being able to do that, Connors said. But I have never sat down and tried to evaluate someone trying to levitate back to their feet. I am going to have to give that more thought. According to his strength and conditioning coach at East Carolina, Zay Jones always did exceptionally well with anything related to core strength or postural integrity. As Connors remembers, Jones arrived at EQ in 2013 as a skinny kid, but exhibited an uncommon work ethic in the gym and practice. In fact, Connors explained, both he and the football coaches occasionally had to restrict Jones to prevent him from overexertion. Connors cannot remember Jones doing anything at East Carolina like he did on the Kansas City sideline on Sunday, but such a feat was not a complete surprise to the veteran strength coach. He always did exceptionally well with anything related to core strength or postural integrity, Connor said of Jones, who thrived in the Pirates' strength and conditioning program. Specifically, Connors likes to use core strengthening drills that involve weights because the degree of difficulty can always be increased. What you may want to call a renegade row, a get-up sit-up, a Turkish get-up, those are my favorite things in relationship to developing core strength, said Connors. With a Turkish get-up, I have seen guys who can do it with a 40-kilogram kettlebell. You won't see many guys who can do it, 